here's how dependency injection works. So let's say you have a messaging service and you are able to send messages through email or SMS. So this is a situation where you will let the user or the client decide and the client application decide what service they want to use. So you want them to be able to inject whether they want to send an email or SMS. So you don't want the program to sort of dictate. So you let the client dictate the service that they will use, email or SMS. So first thing you do is you declare iMessage service interface. This is something I've made up and that has a send message method. And this method here is not actually implemented here because it's an interface. And then implementation of the send message is one, we create an email service which implements iMessage service. So it has the send message. And then this will simply write out a line in this application to the console, but normally you would have email stuff going on here. And the SMS service in the end will do the same. So both of them are inheriting from the iMessage service, which is an interface. So both of them sign the contract with the interface, then they're going to have the following methods. The next thing that you do is this is the notification sender and this has a constructor which takes in a messaging service. So here you can pass it a messaging service such as e SMS or email, and then this has a method called notify. And when you call the notify method, it takes in a message and using the messaging service, which would be either email or SMS, it will send that message off to that service. So here, for example, send message here. If it goes to the email one, then it would cause method here. And sorry, this is the SMS one. And otherwise, they'll call the email message. But how do you decide? So this is where dependency injection comes in. How do you decide who gets to pick email or SMS service? So here's where your main logic, let's say this is your client app now. And the client app will actually say, I want to use an email service. So they create a new email service. And at this point, they want to now inject that. So inject that into the email notification sender. Because the email notification sender at the minute doesn't know whether it's going to be SMS or email. So you pass it an email service because that goes into its constructor. I remember here that we declared a constructor for it. So here, constructor, and it takes in an iMessage service, which is the interface. And of course, since email service and SMS service both implement that they are of this type, they can be iMessage service that is allowed to be passed here. And then an email goes out. Another client actually goes, I want to send, or you had an if condition or some logic in your application. This time, don't send an email to the customer. Instead, send an SMS message. So then you would simply say um, new SMS service and pass it to the same a notification sender and then simply click you know same method notify and this time the message will go out via sms and of course our sms class at the minute just prints the message here and same with the email one it just prints it doesn't actually send anything so this is how dependency injection works so if i run this and you can see what output we get and as you can see here email sent with the message hello by email and hello via sms so we can see that this has worked because we printed these lines here SMS sent with message or email sent with message. So that's basically it in terms of dependency injection. I hope you are able to understand it a bit better.